really good training today. Basically, they got some nice flat fields, then they got some stuff with some hills, some troubleshooting. It might be one of those days where it's more of a, a training type of video, maybe a little bit of entertainment. Pump closed. We are completely out of fuel. This could be bad. You don't spray if it's foggy, and it is foggy. Few little challenges are these hills. We gotta get these acres covered. If the acres aren't getting covered, I'll get my drones out and I'll launch and I'll fly. Oh, nice fields. Wow. Alrighty, finally made it in here. If you don't like working hard, then this is probably not for you. How's it going, folks? It's Mike with New Way Ag. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. We're rolling out. We're gonna go get some wheat sprayed with some fungicide. We got three trailers headed out because we had rain move in last night, so more acres might roll in. I want to show up prepared. That's how what we do here at New Way. We have the best stuff out there. And so we got three trailers, same location. I'm rolling out at one. They rolled out last night. They're staying about 30 minutes away from the hotel. We'll meet them out there. Not much to see right now, it's just a bunch of darkness. We got the new way ag trailer loaded up, got the drones with us. It's gonna be a good day, let's go. We were on the road, got a notification, forgot the dirt bike, gotta have it, had to turn around, got it loaded, now we're out of here. Pump closed. Are, Are you kidding? serious? We are out of fuel and the fuel station, no sh so we're gonna try it. We are completely out of fuel. Light's been on. It's 1.30 a.m. This could be bad. Hey, we made it. We're rolling up on the field now. It's 7.51. The sun should be out, but you see, it's heavy fog. What are we gonna do if it's heavy fog? I can tell you what we're not gonna do. We're definitely not gonna be spraying. That is not good practice. If there's fog in the air and you're spraying, the droplet, you can increase the droplet size and the droplet would fall, but there is a fine created when the droplet is cut. There's always a fine. So those fines would be suspended in the air just like this fog and it would go who knows where. Good practice you don't spray if it's foggy, and it is foggy. Today is an exact example of why these farmers want to apply fungicide and other poisons to their crops is because a very foggy, moist, moist. my wife hates moist, moist air causes fungus to grow. This today is exactly why farmers are using this stuff. What I'm doing here is I have my rig with me, but I really want to teach. Like we have Matt in the back here. He wants to own his own rig as well. Austin and Dennis have been flying a little bit, but they don't know efficiencies and all that type of stuff. So today I'm going to be teaching them how to be efficient, how I've done things and that type of stuff, getting them really good at flying their drone. It might be one of those days where it's more of a, a training type of video, maybe a little bit of entertainment. That's why I'm here. I want to help these guys get efficient because when we come out here to do the corn run, it's game on. Alrighty, finally made it in here. when even if you increase the droplet size for it to fall, the fine that is created by cutting the droplet will be suspended just like this is. And so your chemical will be, yeah. we have no idea where it goes. Anytime it's suspended like this is basically yeah. your chemical will be suspended. As long as you're not gonna hit trees, yeah, and that's gonna be fine. As you learn energy management, you will push that and be like, okay, I am at 50, I'm at 45, but at four gallons, I can get four gallons off because you're better off dumping the four gallons and coming back with 5% yeah. than you are coming back at 15 oh, yeah. with 15 at five because you you're- gotta dump that fluid. Yeah. Did you see the sense 
the power line, it was 32 feet. That's perfect. I mean, that's where we want to be. Those lines aren't horrible. Yeah, we'll be fine. You see how fast this is going down? Yeah. All right, guys, we got the guys started on some of these fields here. A few little challenges are these hills. The processing speed of the brain and the drone sometimes can't process fast enough to make them climb, and so then they'll think that the hill is an obstacle. It's a really good training today. Basically, they got some nice flat fields, then they got some stuff with some hills, some troubleshooting. I have my trailer with me, but I told the guys that I'm not going to spray unless I see a problem, right? Like, we got to get these acres covered. If they aren't getting covered I'll get my drones out and I'll launch and I'll fly today is to train these guys like to be efficient because when it comes to corn fungicide season it is cover tons of acres I mean last year I did off of one trailer 11,000 acres in 24 days so it can be done I'm just showing them the efficient ways to do it they're working off of their new way trailers and that makes it really nice no dust everything's right there taking the batteries like two steps it's literally pull one, two, drop it into the drones. We want the workload to be as little as possible for the ground guys as well, because you do this all day long from 4.30 in the morning till 10 p.m. at night in the summer days, like they, it gets tiring. If you don't like working hard, then this is probably not for you. But these guys have no problem putting in some work. Yeah, so they uh, got this first field done. Dennis got his first field done. He's gonna move on to the next one. And we got, I think, between six and 1400 acres if it all comes in today. But that's all we got right now. The guys were able to do about, I think it was right around 800 acres in a day and a half. They were learning, they were figuring out the system, and they were efficient. Austin was able to do 42.3 acres per hour per drone with his T40. So the guys are really picking it up. They knocked it out. It was a great experience for them to get out there and get real life experience. I'm excited to get out there and get running on the corn stuff because with these new way ag trailers, I'm telling you, it is the most efficient way to run your drone spray business. So if you guys are looking to get in, if you wanna get drones to spray row crop or other uh, specialty crops get a hold of us newwayag.com check out the new way ag trailer we build them we mass produce them and we ship them all across the country get a hold of us if you're looking for one i appreciate it thanks so much we'll see you guys on the next one